Welcome back to our eighth video on PHP and MySQL. And if you've made it this far, you might as well keep going because we're got, we're finally going to start programming in PHP. And I'm going to assume that you guys already have your ZAMP open and your Apache and your MySQL turned on. So I don't have to do that in every single video because time is money and I know you guys are busy. So in the last video, we talked about, minimize this, we talked about PHP info that shows up that, uh, outputs to our browser what's underneath the hood of our ZAMP. It's got our Apache information, our version of PHP we downloaded, all our security stuff, and a lot more stuff that we'll probably ever need to know. So in this video, I want to talk about Echo, which is a language construct that's going to allow us to output PHP. And let's go ahead and do it. So PHP isn't like HTML. Like in HTML, we could just type like, hello world in between our HTML tags, probably our body tags, and we could save it and we could open it up in our browser. And in HTML, this would work. But in PHP, this doesn't work. And PHP is smart. Our server lets us know where our error is. So it says code error, syntax error, unexpected on line three. So I'll go back to here and I know line three is right here. So this is what we messed up because I know our opening tag and our closing tags are fine. So if we wanted to output this into our browser, we need to use the language construct of echo. And if you're doing if you're if you're outputting an integer, which is a number, you don't need to put it in quotations, but you do need to put a semicolon at the end of it. So it lets the server know that we're done and we'll save it. And we'll command R. There it is. Perfect. But if I want to do like welcome to my web page and save it. It's, the browser's not going to understand because it doesn't know if this is an integer or if this is a string. So it, it is a string. Anything that's not an integer is pretty much a string unless it's Boolean, which means true or false, which we're going to talk about later on in these videos. So if we want to output this into our browser, we need to put this in quotations. And we need to have a semicolon. I keep saying that. I think you guys know at this point that we need a semicolon whenever we're done with the statement. And we're going to reload it, and this should work if I'm paying my internet bill, and I'm not. I don't know why that didn't work. Did I not save it? There it is. Perfect. Welcome to my web page. So again, PHP is a little bit different than HTML. I just did a tutorial or a series of videos on HTML, so I, I'm kind of assuming you guys watched that, but you probably didn't. So keep in mind, whenever we want to output something, we need to write echo before it. And uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video.